welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing something exciting. We are doing this Halloween makeup tutorial and hopefully it's obvious what it is, but if it isn't, we are doing a Wonder Woman makeup look. Hmm? Wonder Woman makeup look. What do you think? Now, if you want to know how I got this look, pretty simple I would say, then just sit tight, don't go anywhere, and let's begin. Now, before we start, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and tap that bell. That way you are notified each and every time I post a video up. And if you haven't already, you can also follow me on my social media. Links are down below in the description box. So go down below, read the description box. It also has plenty of good information down there. So why not read it, you know? And what else? Mm. I know, I know the video hasn't started yet, but if you like looks like this, go ahead and click that like button down below. That way I know to make more videos like this. And let's just start the video. The first thing you want to do is start off with a nice, clean, fresh face. And I've also already moisturized and did all that good stuff. And if you want to know what products I used, I will put them in the description box down below. So you can go ahead and read that at your leisure time. And now we are going to do our brows. I feel like Wonder Woman's brows are very thick and strong. And so with our brows, I am going to go in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And then taking my Chella Clear Brow Gel. You guys know I love this clear brow gel. I literally use it all the time. I mean, if you watch my videos, you will know I use it all the time now that our brows are done i'm going to go in and do our eyes now for my eyes i am going to use a primer and i'm using the Too faced shadow insurance primer and just put that all over my eyelid then taking my cover fx cream concealer i'm going to take this and carve out my brow for this look i'm going to be using a lot of matte color, na very natural looking eyeshadow colors. And the perfect palette for this, in my opinion, is definitely the Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics palette. The first thing I'm doing is going to apply some bone color shadow. It helps like, you know, when you apply your following eyeshadow colors, it won't, it will go on much smoother instead of like, looking all patchy. Oh, and the color I'm using or the shade or shadow I'm using is called Pregame from the Ultimate Naked Basics palette. Now I'm taking the shade called Rose Hip and applying that on my eyelid but not up to my brow. The shade is from the Smashbox Photo Matte palette. Here I took the color Extra Bitter from the Naked Basics Ultimate palette and basically put it as a transition color but also try to focus it more towards the outer corner this is what we have going on so far I think it looks pretty good don't you now we're gonna go in and add just a teeny weeny weeny bit of shimmer and what I mean by that is nothing too chunky but I do want to darken up the outer corner just a tad bit more before I do that to darken up the outer corner I'm going to take the color blackjack again from my naked ultimate basics palette now we are going to go in with our shimmer color now that we're done you know doing the outer corner and I'm going in with this color from the Lorac palette and placing that on the inside right here hmm this is not enough shimmer i want a little bit more you know what instead of eyeshadow i'm gonna use this milani number no. three sun glow it's a highlighter but you know use makeup the way you want to use it so now i'm just going to draw on my eyeliner put on some lashes and put on some mascara all that good stuff and then come right back Okay, now I'm back and I pop some lashes on. I picked a more like natural looking lash. Hopefully they do look somewhat natural. And then I did my eyeliner. I did a simple winged eyeliner. And now we are going to dive into our foundation. First, we are going to prime our face using the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. And then for foundation, I'm taking my YSL Radiance Awakening Foundation and pretty much place that all over my face and then taking my damp beauty blender i'm going to blend 
that all in. And then taking my Cover FX Cream Concealer that we used earlier, I'm just going to highlight underneath my eye. And then using my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend it all out. And now taking my Buxom in Breathless, going to place that as my blush. And taking the highlighter we used from before, the Milani Sun Glow, this time we're going to actually use it as a highlighter. And then for my lips, I'm taking my Urban Decay in F-Bomb. I'm not going to lie, this look right here is actually a really nice look. I mean, you can just go out like this as like a nighttime, you know, or even daytime look if you wanted to. And it looks like a really pretty look, I feel like. Yeah, I like this look. But we're doing a Wonder Woman look, so the look is not complete yet. So this is where the fun part begins. Now we take our face paint, and we will be taking the CC Beauty Professional Face Paint. If you need to sketch out first before applying the face paint with like perhaps like a white lighter pencil like this one, or something like a something light. That way, if you mess up, you kind of blend it into your skin and won't mess you up. But I'm just going to go straight in with the black paint. Okay, so I have my basic black, you know, the shape of the tiara I want on my head. And that's pretty much the way I want it. And then we have to draw in the red star right in the middle. For that, I am going to take my Palladio eyeliner pencil in white. And then draw in my star, like so, so I know where I want my star to be. It's just an outline for me, and hopefully the camera is picking it up. I think it is picking it up pretty nicely. And then we're going to fill that in with a nice bright red color. So I've already started coloring in the gold part of my band or tiara area. And what I did was just, you know, take a gold color paint. And then I started outlining my star very carefully. And like so, you know, just outlining it super carefully because I don't want to mess the star up. I mean, it's not, the star isn't perfect, but you can tell it looks like a star and you get the point, right? So I outlined the star and then very carefully, like I said. And then after you did that, or after I did that, now I'm going to just pretty much fill in the rest of area with gold this is it guys I finished the look right here my version of the Wonder Woman makeup look what do you guys think I think I did a pretty good job I mean it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is just do a your makeup look with a nice red lip and then pop on that tiara you can either you know buy one at a local I don't know, like a kid's store or a costume Halloween store and then put that on or just like what I did, paint it on and this is the final look. If you like videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. That way I know you like videos like this and I can post more videos like this one. And if you haven't already, click subscribe, tap that bell and oops, drop something. And also, um, you can follow me on my social media. Links will be down below. There's plenty of good information down below, so be sure to read that. And pretty much, that's it, guys. I will talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I have to go to work, so I gotta wash this off. Or maybe I'll just walk into work like this, you know? Hey, maybe I'll just walk into work like this. How about that, huh? Anyways, I have to wash this off and go into work, so... I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!